Okay, so before this video starts, I just want to say that I have no issue with anyone that we confront in this video. Um, they're just doing their jobs, although I do get frustrated because I am trying to get the footage that I'm confident will clear not only my girlfriend's name, but the many other people that are being harassed endlessly due to the TikToks that my ex-girlfriend decided to make. I'm just trying to help my girlfriend, you know, I'm just trying to protect her, keep her from constantly being harassed all the time and when I walk in trying to get the one piece of evidence that would clear everything up and I'm told I can't have it by a girl in my and literally the dude that tried to that I had never met it just it doesn't feel right you know it feels like something's going on you know it just doesn't feel right and I I guess I just want to be a hero and I can't be, you know, and I get that, you know, you can't control every situation, obviously, but my God, I wish I could control this one right now because I, I just, I don't know. Um, yeah. Anyway, I don't have any issue with any of these people in the video. I was just trying to get that so that I could put it into this once and for all, but yeah. Asking if I can see the footage so that I can clarify who's lying to me and who's not because I've got one side and I've got the other. No, that's why the security camera footage would come in handy right now. Because my girlfriend is currently being harassed for something she had nothing to do with and it's absolutely unfair. And the security footage, which I'm not being shown for reasons I'm not sure of because everyone else has been shown it. Wait, well, yeah, so clarify. Yes, okay. Yes. So, like, my thing is, why do you need to see the footage? I've been getting death threats. I've, my school's been threatened. Which I think you're aware of, but you seem to be ignoring. I'm not aware of any of them. Okay, well, then you should do some research, and then maybe you'd perhaps understand the situation that you okay, claim to know a little bit better. Somebody's trash can getting kicked over is leading to all of this. That's my thing. That's Go check Gabrielle Moses' TikTok account, and then I think you'll quickly understand. But it is the fact that I don't feel safe in my own apartment now. Freaking sucks. You try doing that. Okay. And then they will like address an officer and then they can get the footage. So I have to go to the police to get this footage that lasts maybe 10 seconds of a trash can being kicked down. Correct. That my girlfriend's currently being harassed by thousands of people. Right. So you thought it was okay to kick my trash at my door, say all this stuff about me, point out where I live. I want privacy. I don't know you. I find it interesting that the same person that refused to show me the footage when she showed JC the footage, she did not allow JC to record the footage with her phone, despite that exact footage being what was used to find her. Meanwhile, my ex-girlfriend claims to have the footage, so either she is lying or they gave it to her, but not us, which is very, very interesting. So I do have all the security footage. I'm not releasing it because I don't want these girls to be bullied. Because My ex-girlfriend claimed to not release the footage out of privacy concerns. Well, every single person that is associated with that video has agreed to allow the video to go out, so... Nothing's holding you back. I think that any man watching this would understand that when his girlfriend is being attacked for no reason by thousands upon thousands of people by someone that clearly intended for this to happen. And because one of you guys is the roommate of a person seeing my ex, stop. You would do everything you possibly could to defend her and protect her and make her happy or at least keep her from constantly being harassed. And just, I don't know. I feel like any point that I needed to make has already been made, but I'm sure after seeing the length of this video, you're realizing that this is still gonna, it's gonna take a minute to thoroughly explain everything. So I hope that you're enjoying this because I sure as hell have not. We don't condone bullying. We are supposed to build each other up, not break each other down. And because one of you guys is the roommate of a person seeing my ex, stop. How would you feel if you saw that someone that you love more than anything and i mean that oh my god was just being attacked by so many people that she's never met they'll never meet her <laughs> but yet they're so convinced that she's this monster and jc is by far one of the sweetest nicest people i've ever met and to see how easy it is to convince so many people of something so I mean, imagine, imagine going and trying to get something that will quickly clear your girlfriend's name and all of her friends of all this harassment, and then you're told no. 
by someone that's friends with the person that caused it and she acts like she has no idea what's going on and then right next to him is the guy that that's like some shit out of a movie i don't know how anyone would handle that and i mean she said it herself this is all over a trash can being kicked <laughs> which is the irony is hilarious I just want her to be left alone. I really do. I, that's all I want. And this isn't an attempt to discredit my ex's feelings. You know, you're allowed to feel the way you do. You're allowed to think the way you think or feel, or you know, whatever. You're allowed to have emotions. That's not what I'm suggesting. I'm simply suggesting that maybe we shouldn't direct so many people towards someone that had nothing to do with anything. And it's funny because I know for a fact that people are going to see this video and they're going to be, like, surprised. Like, it's shocking to see someone react to this situation that way. Like, they wouldn't expect that. Like, every other creator that goes through this doesn't do this exact same thing. They're just too afraid to make it a video. <laughs> I, I want you to think of every... Anything that's ever happened to any creator you've ever seen that ended up being bullshit. And I want you to think about how long they spent just in the room acting like I am now, if not worse. That was literally me for months. When when I first introduced JC, it has become quite clear that once again, JC is being used by my ex girlfriend as a tool to gain sympathy and attention in the short term at the expense of JC's mental health and well being. Again, JC had nothing to do with this at all. When this happened, JC and I were watching movies eating ice cream. JC didn't ask anyone to do this. She didn't suggest anyone do this. She didn't want anyone to do this. JC had absolutely nothing to do with this. Understand that when you are an influencer with such a large following talking about such a touchy subject for both yourself, the other party, and the people consuming the content, you know exactly what you're doing. Your words have intent. You are thinking for the third or fourth time about everything that you are saying. And if you're not, that's extremely irresponsible responsible but either way you understand that your words have consequences bringing up JC was not an accident it has never been an accident if you were to watch my ex-girlfriend's TikToks which I'm sure most of you did you would assume that someone walked up to her front door crucified a goat and wrote her name in blood fortunately that didn't happen so please stop targeting me harassing me you would also assume that they gathered around a campfire sang campfire songs and talked shit on her that also didn't happen you'd also assume that it was targeted and that she's currently fearing for her life and doesn't feel safe at her apartment because she Li just literally said that now look no one likes for their property to be kicked obviously it's extremely disrespectful I don't condone that activity I've apologized to my ex directly I I don't know how much more I need to elaborate on that it's obvious that kicking someone's property is not okay that's mean and you definitely deserve to face some kind of consequence being exposed to two plus million people for something that you didn't do is probably not the proper consequence. Does not make it okay to gang up on one person who literally can't even defend themselves. First off, both parties know the girl that kicked the poor innocent trash can. We all went to high school together. So you thought it was okay to kick my trash at my door, say all this stuff about me, point out where I live, I want privacy, I don't know you. She's not in my sister's sorority, nor does she have anything to do with my sister's sorority. She just happened to be hanging around girls that are in my sister's sorority, and those girls had nothing to do with this. They didn't tell her to kick the trash can. I literally, again, don't know you. Just because you are all in the same sorority does not make it okay to gang up on one person who literally can't even defend themselves. She kicked an empty trash can after kicking other people's trash cans. Targeting me. We have another trash can. Is that stupid? Is that childish? Would I condone that? No, of course not. I think that's stupid, and I thank God every day and night that I've never been that bored. But still, it wasn't targeted given that multiple trash cans were kicked, and there